everyone so today I wanted to do my October favorites um I know I'm a couple days early but I just wanted to go ahead and film this and get this up for you guys ASAP I also have a haul that I'll be posting soon um but if you want to check out my monthly favorites then just keep on watching so first off, before we get into the makeup goodies, I just want to mention two quick products. Um, this one is a hair product. This is Kendra Volumizing Spray. Absolutely amazing. I'm telling you, if you are like me and you don't like hairspray, it's really hard for you to find a very good hairspray that you like that'll hold your hair, but you don't like the crunchy texture. Um, I hate the crunchy texture. That's just the number one reason why I don't like using hairspray a lot. But this is amazing, amazing. The best hairspray that I have ever tried out. Um, but yeah, again, this is the Kendra Volumizing Spray. It holds my curls amazing. Um, if I don't use hairspray, even though I don't like to, my hair will not stay curled for very long. Um, it'll just go frizzy everywhere pretty much. But this, so amazing. It doesn't crunch. It holds curls. It's, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. So next up is a makeup tool. I've seen quite a people or quite a few people use these brushes. Um, I couldn't just ever find them to try them out. Finally, my Ulta, um, well, an hour away from me, um, I went to the Ulta and they had some finally stocked and I just guess they were out of stock. But um, this is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. I'm super excited to try the rest of these. Um, i just seen people use them and I've never been able to get my hands on them besides if I ordered them online. But I'm I'm just amazed with this. Um, it's a very even application and it blends it out. It's not super duper dense. It's just like the perfect density for blush. This is the blush brush that I've been looking for forever. Um, but yes, this is the Real Techniques blush brush. Absolutely amazing. So next up for foundation, I've been rotating between this and my MAC Pro Longwear, um, just depending on what kind of coverage I want that day. But this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I've definitely been wearing this more than my Pro Longwear this month, though. Um, I The coverage is buildable to medium at most. I really like this on days that I just want to even out my skin tone, um, that I don't really have any problem areas um, that I can touch up with concealer. But just not a whole lot of problem areas where I have to have full coverage. Um, it's just amazing. I definitely agree. It says weightless. Definitely, definitely weightless. I still feel like it still feels like my skin. It doesn't feel like I have a whole bunch of foundation on or anything. Um, I just, I really like the packaging, the formula, how it wears. It's just an amazing foundation. So next up, I haven't really been using my Pro Longwear Concealer as much as I was before. Maybe like two or three days out of this month. But this is the Bare Minerals Concealer and Well Rested. I know they have a shade darker than this. Um, I don't know if they have any darker than that because I just noticed this one and a little bit of a darker one. But this is amazing at concealing and highlighting at the same time. That's just amazing. Less products, the quicker you get out the door. I just love, love, love this stuff. It, for a powder, I did not honestly think that it was going to cover up as easy as it did. Um, I did see Shannon XO use this on one of her tutorials, I believe, and you could just see the difference between one that she had applied and one that she hadn't applied it yet. Just amazing, and I wanted to try it. And just so far that I have uh, been trying this out the past three weeks I would say. I absolutely love it. Um, again, it's taken the place of my Pro Longwear for now and um, it's just an amazing, amazing concealer for a powder. Like, for a powder. So for the palette that I've been using um, the majority of this month, I wouldn't say um, every single day, but almost every single day, if not um, on the weekends when I go out, which I do want to film an updated go-to nighttime eye makeup because this eye makeup I've been wearing literally this whole month. When I go out on a Friday or Saturday night or just uh, out to dinner, to the bar, to a movie, anything like that on the weekend, I'm going to wear this. It's just amazing. Um, but this is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I'm pretty sure all of you guys have seen this, but if not, it's just an amazing palette. Has all the colors you will ever need, all a whole bunch of warm tone neutrals, but the colors that I've been using the most is Half Baked, which is this pretty gold color right here, and Bucked, which is a um, medium warm tone brown. It's not, it's a little bit darker than Naked, which is right here, and it's just a little bit more brown tone right here. Oh my goodness, I've been using it like crazy in the crease. Um, Virgin a little bit in the inner corner, kind of growing between that and Shroom by MAC, but definitely the most used out of this palette for this month is Half Baked and Buck. 
It's I've been using it literally almost every single time I go out. <laughs> Another eye product that I have been using along with that palette that kind of goes in with the look um, that I'll try to get a tutorial up for you guys, but this is the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner. It is super, super creamy. Um, I probably wouldn't use this as straight up eyeliner on like the upper um, lash line just because it is so creamy I feel like it's going to move, but this is in Punk Purple. And what I like using this for, this is the shade right there. That's the purple, and you can see all my like eyeliner <laughs> brush dips in it. But anyway, um, I've just been placing this on the lower lash line, just really close to the lashes, and then blending that line out with a, a medium purple and then running a lighter purple underneath to kind of fade that down a little bit more and just give it the more smoky effect. And I absolutely love just doing a pop of color on the bottom lately but um again I will try to get that tutorial up for you again this is the elf cream eyeliner in punk purple so next up I have two blushes that I've been obsessed with and uh, oh my goodness but this first one is the NARS uh, blush in torrid I believe I think that's not what I'm saying but it is just a um corally orangey color. It has more orange in it than pink, which I like wearing corals still in fall time, but this is just a, has a little bit more orange in it where I feel like it's just perfect for fall. Um, I really like wearing a lot of orange blushes and maybe a little bit into reds, but not too much past that. Um, I just, I love my oranges and this is just an amazing, amazing blush. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, um, just not a whole lot. It kind of shears it out as you put it on because actually swatching it, it looks like it has quite a bit of shimmer in it, but on the cheeks, it, it shears it out so much it just looks almost completely matte. So my next blush is definitely the Benefit Rockator. I'm pretty sure you've heard this by a couple other YouTubers on here, and it is just an amazing blush. I'm so pumped that I finally got this. Um, I was watching a few videos because I was kind of iffy about it, if I should get it or not. Um, the lady told me in Ulta that it's a kind of blush color that you're going to either love or hate it. And I definitely, definitely love it. It's just so, so natural and it's perfect for fall time. But the only thing that I have noticed about this blush is it does have a fragrance. Um, I have two or three more um, Benefit blushes and I do not notice the fragrance, uh, fragrance with them. But with this one, definitely I don't... I don't know how to explain how it smells like. It just has a smell that I haven't noticed with my others. But um, it's pretty subtle on the cheeks. Um, I ha Sometimes I get like a whiff of it. But then other times, I mean, it's just really when I just smell the container. <laughs> I just noticed it when I opened it up uh, when I got it like the very first day. I just wanted to mention that since if you're like kind of weird with fragrances. So this next one is another NARS product. This is the NARS Laguna. I'm sure you guys have all seen this. Amazing. Amazing. I don't know why I stopped contouring with this. Um, I know that I was con or going kind of back and forth between that and Hula, but definitely this month has been this. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to stick with it for a while until I get a little bit um, paler, I guess to say, where it's a little bit too dark for me then. But pretty much lately I've just been bronzing with Hula and contouring with this this whole month, and I'm just in love with this once again. I don't know why I stopped using it. So this next product is a new product that I've been using for probably the past three weeks. This is the Stila um, Highlighter in Kitten, and I did have it crack the other day. Um, I was doing pageant makeup, and um, it, it was for my niece, and I didn't have my other highlighter with me, so I just used a little bit of the bronze side uh, on her, but I had dropped it right after that, and... Uh, I was so mad. So if you have any idea how to fix powders, let me know in the comments below so I can try to fix this. But oh my god, I was so, so mad. But I've just kind of been babying it lately. So on this side it has a more pink tone highlighter. On this side is the bronze side. Out of these two, I definitely have to say I love, love the bronze side. I do have it on my uh, tops of my cheekbones today. I don't know if you can actually see it because um, I don't know if there's anything left after work today, but I just love this dual highlighter. I love it, especially the bronze side is my favorite by far. So my last product is the NYX Butter Gloss, and this is in Vanilla Cream Pie. It's an amazing, amazing color. I'm gonna show you a swatch right here. It's just the gorgeous, gorgeous color, and it is a perfect 
um, your lips but better color on me. It gives me a little bit of pink to my lips, but not a whole lot. So it's just a perfect, perfect color for me in general. So these were my October favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like this video if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. And this last product is a NYX um, lip or lip or butter gloss, but it does have a um, shimmery highlight. That's well, duh.